today let's create this tie-dye kimono kaftan. I'll show you how. This is Karina Van Nelson. Choose your colors carefully. It's messy to replace once applied on the fabric. Always test your color in a swatch fabric, similar to your project. Use one brush for each color and remember not to dip your brush in another color container. Here, I use glass stones for my buttons as the center of my flower. You can use any material available. I used rubber bands to secure the stones and decide the distance between each stone. Whatever you decide, let's call that design feature. There's no right or wrong. Go with your own creative flow and trust your process. Creating the tie, I use glass stones to create the buttons. No need to stretch your fabric, the creases actually help in the formation of your design. And also do not forget to line your table when you start painting. Overlapping colors, be very careful in overlapping colors unless you're creating another color. Example, if you paint red over blue, you end up with purple. Same with yellow and blue, make green. Sometimes you can create muddy colors and you might hate it, like I did once. Color wheels always help anyways. The spray bottle. Remember to have spray water close by. Don't forget to spray water while painting, especially if you're creating a big piece. You can always make the paint wet again to help with your salt effect. Your pattern. Decide what sort of design you would like to have in your project. Sometimes you could end up with something surprising in different shapes and shades. For this project, I wanted a floral pattern with lots of bright colors. So where did I start? Always pre-wash your silk fabric first and iron them very carefully. I started painting the petals first to see how they form, then decided what color is the center or the stamen gonna be. The salt effect. Salt can be sprinkled onto wet silk paint or dry to create a star base, comet and other lovely effects. Make sure you have the water spray bottle next to you. How does it work? The salt sucks the dye or paint towards itself and causes the lovely effect. My silk on this project is not stretched, but still I got beautiful bursting effect, although I wasn't able to capture on camera because battery gone flat. So I'm using another project that is stretch and frame to show how some resulting effects Still, I got some bursting effects on this fabric I'm painting, and I'm happy with that. I wasn't able to capture the after effect of salt because camera's battery was flat, so I have to use another project to show you before and after salt was applied. As you see, the silk is suspended, stretched on a frame. See how wet the fabric is.
Didn't I tell you about color overlapping? Some spots on this project are colors flowing into each other because I used too much water so some spots have muddled colors that I'm not happy about. But nevertheless, it's still a lovely scarf to wear. Call that mistake a design feature. When you have finished painting your silk or scarf, remember that this is not permanent color until you set or fix the color. In other words, the color will run or all wash out if it is not fixed. The method of setting or fixing this color depends on the chemistry of the dye or paint you are using. Before purchasing any dye or paint, you should read the directions first. There are several ways of setting the color on the fabric. You can iron them, steam, heat in the microwave. Most people use steaming to set the color and this method produces most vivid, bright colors. Don't forget to paint your background as well. I do have another video to show you how the fabric is stained to set or fix the color. Ironing is fine too, but if you have long piece of fabric like this project, it's best to steam it. So there you are ladies and gents, projects done and dusted, ready to wear and welcome to my fashion show. This is Karina Van Elsen. Please have a look at my fashion show videos and see my other textile design turned into caftans. I have various art and craft videos on my channel. Please subscribe if you want notified for other craft projects. Thank you very much.